So, uh, here in Quebec right now, there is a curfew. Uh, this is New Year's Eve right now. And uh, it's like, it's like New Year's right now, like in five minutes or like we're, we're New Year's Eve as I'm recording this. You know what I mean? There's absolutely nobody outside because there's a curfew. It's illegal. I can get a fine. A thousand to six thousand dollar just to take a walk right now part of me hope I don't see any cops but if I do I'm gonna keep recording obviously um, but yeah as a citizen as a philosopher I hate I hate calling myself that. oh shit Happy New Year! Bonne année tout le monde! Et c'est possiblement la police qui s'en vient là-bas. Uh, donc, yeah. This is Longueuil. And, uh, yeah, it's just crazy. So as a protestation, I, I just cannot stay home. I have to go outside, take a walk. That's protestation. It's just on principle. I cannot let this go. This is the police now. It's a white car, but it doesn't look like it's the police. Uh, but yeah. Uh, if you're from Quebec and you're watching this, uh, bonne année, restez solidaire, tenez bon. Et rappelez-vous qu'on sort pas de la tyrannie euh, en se soumettant. C'est en se soumettant qu'on tombe sous la tyrannie. Donc, uh, you know, wake the fuck up. But yeah, <laughs> um, I'm here speaking to myself, speaking to this, and I'm. Um, yeah, it's like utopia. I never thought I would see something like that crazy, but here I am, being a criminal because I'm taking a walk. I'm a criminal because I'm taking a walk. Well, fuck you, Mr. Legault. You're the criminal. <laughs> I'm like Biden right now, <laughs> creepy as fuck. But yeah, you're the criminal legal like legit you are the criminal i'm not i don't feel like i'm doing a crime right now i feel like i'm doing my duty you know I, you know like the american why why they have guns shit yeah the reason why they have guns in america that second amendment is precisely precisely to prevent the government to go too far and do that kind of shit. Here in Canada, there's barely any guns and yet they want to like pass law. Like the criminal are gonna give a shit about those law. Like, it's so ridiculous. Oh. And I started watching the news again today uh, a little bit. Canadian news, I mean. Uh, I've been watching the news for a while, but... Canadian news, I, I realized was like, and then certain men was like, almost oh, like a bit too much. Today, there's people like me in Montreal, or at least there's supposed to be people like me in Montreal walking. M m m not a word. I mean, I, 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 I knew, but I was like, where's the journalism? You know what I mean? What happened with the journalism? Like it used to be like, like they would care and they would be like there you know like they would go to other country to cover wars right and we are here in montreal and you know in quebec in canada this is like no reason to worry for your life in theory right and 
They're not in the street of Montreal covering this shit. They don't want to talk about it. They're complicit. It's so obvious. It's like, ah. Oh, they're like, all they talk about is like environment, environment, environment crisis. COVID, COVID, COVID. For the New Year's, take ecological, you know, goal. What the fuck, bro? Is Bill you fucking you in the ass? Like Bill Gates is like, you know, whatever crazy motherfucker out there with an agenda to like, you know, like what's going on? <laughs> God. Anyway, my hand, my hand hurts and uh, if the cup stop by, I guess, you know, it's five minutes. I didn't want to, I didn't mean to make this, this long. That's what I'm trying to say. Happy New Year, guys, everyone. Uh, stay strong. And I'll, honestly, uh, like I was saying earlier when I did a little bit of it in French, uh, you don't get out of tyranny by submitting, by submitting, by, you know, complying. That's how you get under tyranny. That's how we got in this shit in the first place. Because we complied. So... My hand hurts, but I'm getting to uh, Saint Foy, which is like Boulevard Saint Foy. You know, it's like a bigger road than the, the street that I was just walking on. So maybe I'll get arrested here. This is exciting. Oh, my hand actually hurt. It's really cold outside. Like I'm not sure the exact temperature, but uh, yeah, yesterday I saw more cops. Uh, yesterday. I was like outside at like one, and I think there was like uh, it was not, it was still legal yesterday to walk outside, <laughs> you know. Uh, it was like one, and uh, it was like a bunch of cops that passed by. So I don't know. It's weird that today, which is the day, you know, you would expect them to go crazy on people, but no. I mean, how many of them are, like, smart enough to realize this is all bullshit, right? Like, come on. Alright, like I was saying, thank you for watching. Stay strong, and uh, I'll keep vlogging every day. I'll keep walking every day. Here, near Montreal, on the south shore of Montreal... And nobody is just keeping a journal, journal d'un kidam. You know, a journal from a nobody. I'm just here vlogging you that uh, situation is dire here in Quebec. Like legit, a curfew for New Year's Eve with the moronic, I'm sorry, Omicron moronic variant like really that's where we are at ridiculous I, I hear a car part of myself is kind of almost hoping for trouble jeez I swear I want to have a talk with a cop one of these nights and be like why are you doing this like can you like get yourself look at yourself in the mirror and accept that what you're doing is right. Like, can you tell yourself that? Is it, is it a cop? Is it a cop? It's not a cop. Ah, the excitement. Dude. I was watching uh, this uh, George Carlin. Uh, he was saying a bunch of stuff that really like... <laughs> In my head was like this is like too far when i was like thinking there's so many other things that for other people is too far anyhow um but yeah he was saying like you know take a chance for fuck's sake stop being a pussy stop having being scared of everything being scared that your immune system is gonna shut down or some shit like Ten minute, dang. Maybe I'll cut it or something. Uh, 
I mean, it's like a 15 minute walk. Like it could be a 15 minute vlog every day. Usually it's my break that I take for, uh, for my job. Because I work from home like a lot of people now. You know what? I haven't missed a single day. I haven't missed a single day of work. <sighs> uh, and like everybody right now, I'm broke. It's weird because I live with my, my father. I, I cannot imagine how other people do. I cannot imagine how other people do. For real. This whole shit is insane. I want to keep walking, honestly. Part of me doesn't want to go back home. It's weird, right? You're being told you cannot go outside. And the only thing you do, you want to do, is go outside. So, yeah. Also, if you wanted to know where I live and shit, yeah, this is kind of what it looks like around here. So you can dox me. Google. Google map. No, seriously though. Uh, yeah. This is messed up, honestly. It's really messed up. It's just how it is though. 